Plastic Man live in 2010 and 11 seems like a huge departure from where I began, you know. But, you know, let's look back at where Plastic Man started. Dark warehouses, um, a couple of instruments, but, you know, it was about an intense experience. It was about taking people as far as way as possible from that reality, from that moment, and kind of spinning them all around and letting them you know, try to find their balance. And once they did, they were back to reality and were trying to recreate the moments that they th thought just happened. And that's what we're trying to do with Plastic Man, you know, 1.5 now. We want to make an alternate reality during the show that shouldn't happen, but also makes sense to how we think about the world. And that's bringing sight, sound, feeling, visuals, all these things aligned. And then also, when we have that alignment, playing with it and moving it away from each other and coming back, this creates anticipation, it creates the, the story that we're telling. was a conscious decision about the setup of Plastic Man Live. I'm behind this LED screen most of the time. And it really, again, harking back to the early days of Plastic Man, what, what was Plastic Man? It was me locked in my basement of my parents' house with my equipment, fiddling around and making weird music. And I'm basically back in my studio, which happens to be an, a room of LEDs, and it happens to be front, in front of 5,000 people. a long time to bring Plastic Man to the island. I was, you know, waiting for the right place, the right situation, the right people. And uh, I think bringing Plastic Man now to Amnesia, you know, with MTV is, is perfect. It would be part of a lineup that is about bringing full-scale production values and really pushing the envelope of entertainment is what I want to do. You know, I. My music isn't for every, everybody, but I want to bring my kind of, you know, sound, this immersive weirdness of Plastic Man Live to as many people as possible. And uh, so I wouldn't do any good at just bring it to a small club. Like, let's, you know, hit it to, you know, push it into as many eyes and ears as possible and hopefully freak people out. Sorry.